All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna make a galaxy picture. Now this galaxy is gonna be full of um, some backgrounds, some stars, but most importantly, some planets. Now our planets are going to be spheres. A sphere is a form. A form means a three-dimensional shape. And so we're gonna draw circles, which are flat, and we're gonna shade them with values, values being the lightness or darkness of a color. So we're gonna use light colors, medium colors, dark colors, to shade this circle to make it look like it's a sphere, to make it look like it's a rounded planet. And then we're gonna add lots of other fun stuff. I'm gonna do this project with chalk pastels, but then at the end, I'll show you how you can do this similar project, even if you've just got crayons, colored pencils, or even just a regular pencil. All right, let's get started. All right, my first step is to trace some circles. These will be the spheres that turn into my planets. So you can do all the same size, you can do different sizes, totally up to you but I'm just gonna go ahead and trace a bunch of circles all over my paper. All right, now I'm gonna be using chalk pastels. The colors will be all of the planets and then I'll use black for a shadow and white for a highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one color and I'm gonna color an entire planet or an entire circle, just one base color. This one base color is my middle value or my mid-tone. So after I color the entire planet with that one color, I'm gonna use one finger and blend it all together. All right, now I've gotta figure out where my light is coming from. I'm gonna have my light coming from the top left there. So I'm gonna grab my white chalk pastel and on that top left side, just color kind of a crescent shape or a little highlight. And then using a finger, I'm gonna blend that in. So kind of mixing those two chalk, two chalk colors together. And then if my highlight is on the top left, that means the opposite side or the bottom right is gonna be in a shadow. That's gonna get less light. So I'm gonna use the tiny amount of black because black is a very powerful color. And I'm gonna add some black and again, blend that with my finger. And now I've got a circle that looks more rounded, like a sphere, like a form. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to all my other planets. So showing you real quick here, one color, that's your mid-tone, blend it with your finger. My light is coming from the same direction on all of my planets. So since my first highlight was on the top left, all my other highlights are gonna be on the top left. That'll make it look like they're all getting light from the same source. And if my highlight's on the top left, that means my shadow is opposite, bottom right, so I'll color a tiny bit of black and blend that in and you'll just keep doing this technique for all of your planets. One thing that you can do then with chalk pastel is you can take a little eraser and sometimes you can erase places where your chalk got a little bit outside the line. So I'm just going to go through and clean this up a little bit. Now you could absolutely stop there, but if you wanted to, you could add some extras to your background. So I went through and added a little bit of blue chalk pastel, blended that in with a paper towel or tissue. And then I took a little bit of white paint mixed with water and kind of splattered that to look like it was some stars. And that really helped it look like a galaxy. Now, like I said, if you don't have chalk pastels, that's fine. You can still do this project. So I'm gonna show you quick how to do the same thing just using colored pencils. Same three steps. You're gonna get a base color. So I'm gonna color the entire thing, my mid-tone. Then I'm gonna add a highlight. So I'm blending more with my colored pencil to add some white in that top left corner. Your highlight could be anywhere, just wherever you do it on one planet. Make sure it's the same on all the others. And then opposite of the highlight is your shadow. So I'm just using a black colored pencil or a darker version of the same color that I used and I'm adding a shadow. So same three steps and you can do it for any materials that you have. So go ahead and create your galaxies. 